Welcome. This is item number 29 from the release spring 2014 test items for the 7th grade TCAP math test. The question says Mrs. Robertson makes blankets for her grandchildren. The graph models the relationship between the number of blankets made and the number of yards of fabric used. Now, most of the time when they ask you, at least on this test, it seems that these um, axis labels, this thing, and this thing, that's going to matter a lot to the question. It always does, it seems. Um, so, anyway, the question says, what does the slope of this graph represent? Now, the thing that's universal about how you interact in math classes is that sometimes you're going to zone out. It does make you a bad person. In fact, I would argue that the difference between people who do well in math and people who don't do well in math is just how willing someone is to ask a question about what they missed when they zone out, or how well able they are to figure it out without having to have somebody explain it to them point by point. But the general idea is that you'll zone out sometimes. The thing is, even when you're zoned out, you'll hear mantras and things said in math that become like this universal idea. One of those is about slope. Most of the time when you hear slope, you'll hear the term rise over run. And you probably have seen it and, you know, worked it out and figured out what it means. But really, as long as you just know it, at least it gives you somewhere to go on. Um, the slope is just how much the, uh, the, it refers to the movement of the line, so how much it changes over time. Rise, we'll talk about how much it goes up or down. Run refers to how much it goes over, generally to the right. So if it's going this direction up, the slope itself is probably positive because it's rising. If it's going down like this, you're looking at a, a negative slope because it's going down over time. Now, what does that mean for us? Well, the question just wants us to figure out what the slope means. So if I talk about what thing is increasing on the top versus what thing is increasing on the bottom, I'm in good shape. So let's look for the rise. The rise goes up and it says the number of yards of fabric used. So I'll put on top yards of fabric. And then I can just make a little adjustment based on the answer choices. So for the run, that'd be going over, blankets made. Without looking at any of the numbers, let's just see what that, how much information that gives us for the problem. So A says the number of blankets made for each grandchild. No, grandchildren aren't in this, so it's not this one. The number of yards of fabric used for each grandchild. Nope, it doesn't say there were grandchild anywhere. It says blankets made. So the relationship between is between fab fabric and blankets, not grandchildren. The number of yards of fabric used for each blanket made. That's looking good. The number of yards for fabric used for, so fabric for blankets. There we go. And the last one says the number of blankets made for each yard of fabric used. Well, they're both in there, but it doesn't really have much to do with, like, the base unit has to be blankets. So it's yards of fabric per blanket, as opposed to blanket per yard of fabric. It just, you know, it sets up that way. So the answer to this one is C. Now, not really that difficult. You didn't even have to know a ton about slope, but if you could just remember rise over run, you can remember that the thing that's rising on the side should be on top, and then you just write it down, and then run would be the thing on the bottom. Well, why can't it be D? I still don't get that. The number of blankets made for each yard of fabric used. Well, if I was doing that, I would have to divide this by this, and that's not a slope measurement. Slope measurement measures up versus over, or down versus over. It's just the way that it's universally seen, because all of a sudden, if I, have, if I start looking at it a different way, it changes the value of the slope. Like, if I have a slope of 2 over 1, and it means up versus over, I may have a slope that looks like this. If all of a sudden it means over versus up, it starts to look like this. Obviously, they're not the same line. So the universal idea of slope is rise over run. So just find, write rise over run on a piece of paper, write what rise represents, run represents, look for the answer that matches it exactly, you're good to go. They're not trying to be really tricky here. They're just trying to get you to understand the idea of slope and what it means in respect to this problem.